Hello, welcome to News Flash Africa, the best place to get Africa related content. In today's news, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibajo, has said the government is far from touching the life of many who need the help in the country. Osibajo said this in Lagos on Saturday night at the unveiling of ETE Touching Life Season 5. Though some Nigerians have benefited from the social investment programs of the government, yet the government is still far from touching the majority of those who still need help. He commended ETE for its wonderful acts of giving and caring, saying, Truly, what separates humankind from all other creatures is the capacity of kindness. So, I want to thank Segun and his team at ETE for touching so many lives over the past five years. Listening to each story of the lives that have been touched in this event must remind us of many others who need our help, our comfort and our kindness. The poor and the vulnerable will always need a voice. Osibajo recalled that in 2014, he, Mr. Wale Edun, and Professor Patutomi met with to write portions of the manifesto for the All Progressive Congress. He said they all agreed that the fundamental aspect of the party plan must be to create a so social safety net for the people of the country. The vice president said we are feeding about 9.5 million children in 34 states now across Nigeria in all public schools. We are giving monthly cash to about a million households as part of our conditional cash transfer scheme. We also have engaged about 500,000 young men and women who have been unemployed for different periods of time under the air power program but we are still very far from touching the majority of those who need help it is clear that to do so we need far more resources and to put far more resources behind that program he added that this is why the work of socially conscious organizations like ETA is so vital bridging the gap between what the government can do and what is left to be done so as to celebrate the, 50, the fifth year of this program, we, we congratulate you and pray for all members of the ETA team and their families and that they should continue showing great kindness to many and they shall also get in return. Here in this piece, the Vice President is clearly admitting that the government has not been able to impact in a positive manner the day-to-day -day lives of many citizens of the country. And even the so-called social programs that he also mentioned that said that, that he was using as, as an excuse to say that the government has even been doing something. Most of them, if you actually go deep and dig into the fabric of those social programs that he mentioned earlier, most of them are not benefiting from those programs. Many reports, especially from beneficiaries that are, that are part of the Empower Teaching Program, have not been paid for over three months. This is a program. That just pays right right above or just exact the exact minimum wage that was just signed into law recently the average end power payments for the teaching program is between 28 to 30 thousand naira right about the 30 thousand naira mark that was set as the new minimum wage so you have this youth being paid at minimum wage and most of them will end up depending on this wage many will just be surviving from salary to salary and despite this very very low salary that they are being paid for the strenuous work that they do on a daily basis, their salaries is still being delayed for months. I've personally personally never heard a senator going to complain that they they, they, they delay salary or a house of representatives, a member of the house of reps go and they, uh, go to the news and start complaining that they delayed their salary. I've never heard a governor complaining that the salary wasn't paid or a deputy or even a commissioner. But you always hear civil servants, teachers, people that are actually doing the work on ground, their salaries are being paid, are being delayed. And the money that they are being paid is nothing, it's not, it's, it's nothing, it's not nothing to even write me about. They're just basically being paid at minimum wage. And upon that, their salary be, salary is being delayed. But people that are at the top, that are earning millions of naira, doing basically nothing. This these are people that are supposed to set and implement policies. They not only do a bad job at it, but at the end of the day, or at the end of the month, they still go home, smiling to the bank, knowing that their salary has been paid. But people actually on ground, people that have to travel long distance to get to their jobs, they won't pay them. And then here the vice president is come to be telling us stories. So I'm very happy that uh, the vice president was able to acknowledge his uh, government's incompetency. 
even with the current school feeding program many vendors that are providing the food are complaining about the amount being paid to them stating that the amount that is being paid to them is not enough to cover the cost of them providing such meal to the kids these are few among the many cases and issues facing the so-called social initiative that have been made by the government and it is very saddening that for once the government has said the truth that yes the government has not been able to provide policies that will translate into the physical emotional and financial well-being of nigerians well those are my thoughts on the matter please do join me on future videos if you enjoyed this video please like drop a comment below and also subscribe to be notified of future content